structural difference between the modern and the Baroque violin, which affects the sound the most, is that the angle of the neck on a modern violin goes downward, much more downward, and thereby increasing the pressure from the strings onto the bridge. And that pressure is actually two and a half times as high as that of a Baroque violin. That basically means you can play much louder. It's like having a big Porsche or a Mercedes engine in your little Honda Civic. This is a violin by Jakob Steiner from Absam, that's in Austria, from about 1668. The shape of the tailpiece is very different. It's not really uh, strongly rounded, but almost flat. The bridge is a little bit different, but that probably only uh, somebody who is an expert would even notice. Um, but the other major difference, of course, is that we don't play with steel or metal strings or metal wound strings. The only uh, metal wound string that we use is the lowest one, the G string. All other strings, the D, A and E, are plain gut strings, usually sheep gut. When people hear the Baroque violin, it's sometimes a matter of a couple minutes of adjusting the ear to, okay, it's not so much in your face, it's not so extremely loud. In exchange, we have a much, much, much softer dynamic range. We can, because the gut strings speak much more easily, we can literally tickle the string and make sounds that are almost inaudible or and have a very specific quality. It's almost sort of a eerie, airy sound. But not to say that we can't We can also make very accentuated and very crunchy sounds. So, um, personally, I believe that we have the better of the two worlds because we have an expanded dynamic range and much more detail uh, that we can discover in the in the music that we play.